Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to review the seven different male personality types. Which one are you? I think it can be valuable to understand your personality type to make sense of why and how we typically do things. While nothing is set in stone, we each have unique traits, triggers, and thought patterns that are shaped by our environment, our upbringing, and genetic makeup that makes us more similar to one another than we think. So let's take a look at these seven male personality types and you can see which one you fall under. First, alpha males. Probably the most known male personality type, the alpha males are typically physically and mentally strong. You know, they're, they might be determined, confident, and clear about their goals. Alpha males are typically characterized by their sense of leadership and a strong sense of self. Now, because of this, many people find that alpha males might be outgoing, charismatic, or attractive. They can be great leaders of their family and communities. Now, don't get a true alpha male mixed up with someone who is trying to be an alpha male. Real alpha males, they communicate and persuade with class and respect, as well as acknowledge their weaknesses. In other words, a real alpha male doesn't try to be alpha. He just is. Next, beta males. Those who identify as beta males are typically friendly and respectful. Beta males often have incredible social skills and are often seen as pretty approachable. People tend to gravitate towards them because they have more of a laid back view of the world and life in general. Now, as much as people like to be around them, beta males like to be around other people. They seek appreciation and approval from others and have the ultimate goal of building relationships. Now, although on the surface, beta males seem outgoing and extroverted, some betas are quite reserved and shy. Some of them may not like to share their opinions with others because they're afraid that they will cause some kind of conflict or negativity. And they're often seen as peacemakers. Beta males are incredibly loyal and make great friends and employees. They're often family men at heart and will do just about anything to make their partner and children happy. Next, gamma males. Gamma males are described as being uh, interesting and adventurous. They seek joy and fulfillment in life over anything else. So they're always looking for new experiences. If you're a gamma male, you probably love going on trips and traveling to exotic places. You love to move around and explore a wide range of lifestyles. In short, you're someone who can't stay put very long. Living a day-to-day -day monotonous routine is pretty boring for you. You're a thrill seeker at heart and you always are eager to live life to the fullest. In terms of relationships, you may share some similarities with the beta males because you, like them, also love people. You have a lot of close relationships and seek the love of others. No matter where you go or what you do, you will always be the life of the party. Next, Omega Males. Omega Males are highly self-aware and sure of themselves, but they don't need to hold the power like alphas or win popularity contests like Gamma or Beta Males might be more inclined to do. Omegas have the confidence they need just by being themselves. Getting feedback or judgment from others is not something that they care about because they know their self-worth. They are driven and motivated from within, which makes them sure and focused on their goals. Omega males are often highly intelligent. They generally fit the quote nerd or geek archetype because they have a natural pull towards intellectual pursuits such as reading, coding, building models and technology but that's what often makes them so admirable. They are so aware of themselves or go for what they want that they don't really care what other people think of them. These are the key principles that make these men so successful in life. You'll often see Omega males become renowned inventors or performers, artists, or even tech moguls. Next, Delta males. Compared to the other male personality types, Delta males tend to demonstrate uh, more reserved characteristics. They tend to be more resigned with their thoughts and opinions and don't always see the world through rose-tinted glasses. 
Often the reason behind this is that they go through some sort of pivotal experience in the past and that's influenced their perspective on themselves and their surroundings. This doesn't mean that they're always negative. On the contrary, they seem to be the most realistic. Delta males are often more focused on the essential things in life, like respect, relationships, competence, and normalcy. They don't want power like the alphas, and they don't seek new adventure like the gammas. You might view them as like the average Joe, in a sense. But even if they don't have a fancy title or go through life-changing experiences, they're usually satisfied with their lives and just being focused on the essential things. Next, Sigma males. Sigma males are characterized by their cunning and clever personalities. They're not afraid to go outside the lines or challenge the system to get what they want. They are often excellent persuaders and creative thinkers. But even when they think outside the box, all of their words and actions are thoughtful and calculated. Think of the character John Wick and how he gets out of trouble by taking calculated risks. Sigma males typically do not need social hierarchy to thrive. They often walk a solitary path. They can sometimes be called the lone wolf. And finally, Zeta males. Similar to Sigma males, Zetas are not afraid to create their own rules outside social norms. They know what they want and they'll go for it in any way they can, which makes them quite a strong personality type. Zeta males are often known to be independent thinkers. They don't believe that they have to conform to societal standards that are imposed on men. They have a driven mindset and know how to treat each and every situation accordingly. Zeta males are sometimes considered to be in between alpha and sigma males, often having the characteristics of both. So now that we've covered these seven different male personality types, I'm curious to hear from you. Which male personality type are you? Can you put yourself in one of these seven? Leave your feedback in the comments section below. If you wanna learn more about how Dad University membership can help you, be sure to visit daduniversity.com. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with anyone you think might enjoy it. We'll see you next time.